Here we're cutting the uh, the bottom plate out of some 3 uh, uh stock that I had on hand. Uh, it's extremely hard material. I realized that when I was bandsawing it into sort of an octagon. Then I put it on the lathe here and started turning it. And <laughs> it uh, had some fireworks with it, so enjoy uh, the fireworks here. Here we're uh, squaring up the ends on this uh, four inch uh, VOM tube. It's about three inches long and uh, although the bandsaw cut it pretty square I wanted it it's got to be uh, it's got to be pretty flat to uh, work correctly at least on one end and uh, that's uh, that's what we're doing here and uh, it went pretty well What we're doing here is uh, splitting the uh, tube uh, using a uh, 3 8 inch uh, carbide end mill and uh, it's the action sped up here because it took some time. Uh, the surprise at the end is when it split it uh, actually sprung out and uh, instead of a 3 8 gap I had uh, probably closer to a half inch, but uh, that was easily closed by sitting in the vise the opposite way. And uh, so everything went well here, uh, uh, splitting this uh, uh, tube. It's uh, three inches long and it's uh, uh, four inch. Uh, DOM tube uh, three and a half inch ID, which is the ID of the quill on the, the mill. Um, this uh, material is fairly hard, but uh, worked out uh, pretty good. What we're doing here is uh, mounting on the spindle. So uh, uh, tighten up the, the uh, two lugs on the side uh, and that uh, that tightened it up nicely. Uh, I had to use a uh, power ratchet because uh, the thing was uh, fairly difficult to do. Here I'm showing the base that goes on the uh, quill. I welded a, a plate, circular plate it's about three and a half inches in diameter and I tack welded it all the way around and the reason for this is to give it some ability to flex uh, when you tighten it up and uh, I've tried that out and it works pretty good and what I'm doing right now is I'm tapping the uh, four holes that mounts the right angle uh, adapter and I've uh, put it up in the uh, spindle and put the right angle adapter in a collet uh, in that spindle and uh, tighten up the draw bar and then located the holes for the uh, four bolts that will hold the right angle adapter to this base. Okay, there you have it. Uh, it's on the uh, well, and uh, you can see it's running. It's running very smooth. Uh, I'm going to speed it up a bit here. And the things that I had to do uh, to finish this up is to extend the draw bar. So I took an old draw bar. You can see it there. And uh, 
I uh, screwed a uh, piece of three quarter inch hex stock in the end of a regular drawbar and added about three inches. And uh, that gives me plenty of room to, uh, to adjust it. Uh, didn't need to be quite that long, but uh, that's, uh, that's the way it worked out. So I'm very pleased with the project. Excuse my handheld here. Uh, anyway, this is a, a saw arbor that I built to fit on here. And it's not quite ready for prime time yet. I need a piece of 3 16 inch uh, uh, key stock to uh, finish it and then put a, a set screw in the side. But I haven't been to the uh, hardware store to pick that up yet. So here's all the pieces uh, for the uh, right angle adapter. Um, you can see the draw bar there where I uh, put an extension on it and uh, the uh, quill sleeve, the right angle adapter, and of course the um, slitting saw adapter. Uh, need to finish up the sledding saw adapter and this thing will be put to bed. Thanks for watching.